What's going on everyone? It's DV and I'm back in Core Games and I'm here to explain what Core is, how to get Core and how to use it. So this video should give you all the information you need about Core. It should explain everything all the way up to game development. So I'm not going to actually cover game development in this video. This is going to be for the average gamer who wants to go and, you know, access and play a bunch of games on Core. So before I begin, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new. So first I want to explain what Core is. Core is a multiverse, which, you know, I know a multiverse is kind of a difficult term to understand. I guess it would traditionally you would call it a virtual world in a sense because it is a platform, right? With tons and tons of games, literally thousands of games you can check out and play on core. So if you're familiar with like Roblox, for example, Roblox is a lot like this and that, you know, you can pretty much launch a bunch of games from one platform. It makes it easy to get in and out of games. It's not like you have to keep installing and, you know, uninstalling games anytime you get bored. So it's not like Steam or even Epic Games Launcher. It's very different in that it's self-contained and all these assets and stuff are actually built on Unreal Engine. So if you're familiar with the Unreal Engine, which, you know, Fortnite's built on and many other games are built on, this is pretty much, you know, built on Unreal as well. So you can see you get, you know, the advantages of all the awesome looking graphics, you know, the water looks amazing. Everything looks amazing, super detailed. You know, the characters do look like Fortnite characters. That's okay with me. Where I'm at right now is the core plaza. So this is more like the multiverse aspect of this is that we can kind of adventure in this world and you can actually build games that are connected to this world as well. So you can actually have their, what we call portals into different worlds. So I can and kind of go from world to world. If I were to make another game that actually has like maybe parties or something or social aspects to it, I could connect that to multiple games and it's just a really cool system. So you can see this is very untapped currently, but they have a great vision at core. So first up, I want to explain how you get this. So obviously you want to get into core, you want to be able to play. So the first thing you need to do is go to coregames.com and that'll take you here, right? And you could browse the games that they have available without actually registering. You could just, you know, check everything out. Core is actually built by Manticore Games. So if you Manticore somewhere. Manticore is actually the maker of Core. So that's who they are. So if you're wondering, like, if you get confused, like, what's Manticore Games? They are actually the makers of Core. So you can pretty much see there's a ton of games here. You can see these are all the featured games, highest rated and stuff. And you can also explore without even, in, you know, registering. You can kind of, you know, look at each of the games. You can read the reviews. You can see, you know, other re recommendations or games by that creator. You don't even have to register to kind of check things out. Here are the actual minimum requirements, by the way. You do need at least Windows 10. You need DirectX 11. And it is currently PC only. So if you want to be able to play this on mobile, you're going to have to wait because this is currently an alpha. So we're currently an open alpha. And even though this says minimum requirements is that you have these things, there's actually a little bit more minimum requirements in here. And we're going to go and hit those right now. So coming over to the system requirements, you need a computer with that will at least have an i5-7400 or AMD equivalent. I, I really don't know the equivalent of an i5 7th gen. I honestly think you can get away with like even a 5th or 6th generation on this platform. Maybe at least a 6th gen, especially if you have like an i7. So like i7 or i9 is going to run this pretty well. Um, they do require at least eight gigabytes of RAM, which is really low. I would actually recommend higher than that, even though, you know, you could run this on eight gigabytes. I would actually recommend if you can get 16, great. Otherwise, eight's going to be fine. Um, you do need at least a 1050 Ti, so a GE Force 1050 Ti or AMD equivalent. I, again, I don't know the AMD equivalent of that, but I would say if you can run Fortnite, you can pretty much run core. You do need Windows 10 64 bit. And you can see right here, it does have some recommendations. You know, they're recommending 16 already right here. And they're also recommending at least a 1660. I actually don't want to know what the 1660 is. Um, I think it's like the, isn't that like the 1060? I'm not sure. But you know, again, if your computer can run Fortnite, pretty much you can run core. And so what you're going to want to do is you're, you know, you're going to want to download core for one. So you can see it's going to download this little launcher here. And then you're also going to want to register. So you're going to want to go here. If you click on download back there, it will actually automatically take you to the sign up page. And you just need to provide your uh, email address, a username, and then create a password. Then you're going to need to install this um, launcher here. So you're going to want to install this core, you know, installer here on your computer. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to even touch this, but pretty much run the installer. And here's the key difference between core compared to something like uh, Roblox is that core actually has a launcher, you know, so you pretty much are going to be running this core launcher here. So again, it's an actual like Windows application, right? So the nice thing though, is I can actually go over here still, assuming you're logged in. So I'm logged in right here. Assuming you're logged in, you can still, you know, browse all the different games through the web browser. So if you want to just, you know, use the web browser for browsing the games, you can. So like, let's see, let me find one right here. So say I wanted to play this crazy funhouse game, then I could go there and I could hit play and it'll actually open up my core launcher here, just like Roblox, right? And then it's actually going to join the game directly through the website. So it's loading in right now. So you can see it loaded in pretty quick too. And then you can see I'm already in a game. So, you know, the load times do vary. So if the game doesn't actually have any players on right now, it will take a little longer for it to start up the first time. After that, it's pretty fast. So it's almost instantaneous. So pretty much you got your avatar here. 
then I'm gonna actually, you know, cover the avatar for you right now. So let's go out of here and go back to core. And pretty much I'm gonna give you kind of an overview of how to use core itself. So obviously on the main screen here, you're gonna have play. So this little drop down here is gonna be how you browse all the different categories. So you can, you know, browse games. You can look at only active games. Active games is basically games that are pretty active, meaning players are playing it right now. So if you wanna be able to play with others, this is the best place to go is straight up to active games. Featured are games that core is actually highlighting that, you know, they actually wanna, you know, send players to. So they feel like it's worthy of, you know, actually getting some traffic. And then recently played are things that I've played recently. So you can see I've been playing a lot of different games. And then you can look at trending games. Trending games are games that are, you know, new and growing fast. And then new games are newly added. So anything that's new, I think there's a little bit of criteria for, you know, games to show up here too. I don't think it just shows everything. I'm not sure. And then highest rated are, you know, obvious games that I've actually gotten the most ratings and highest ratings. And then most play, these, these are the games that get the most traffic or over time. So this number right here, you see this 145,000 right here. This is not actually the number of players on right now. This is the number of players that actually played the game. So Core is relatively new. It is a new platform, which basically tells you that you're not going to see the millions to billions that you're going to see on Roblox. You know, they're still really, really young. So, you know, you can see here they've gotten four uh, 4,000 uh, likes and only 145,000 plays. They recently announced that they're going to be on the Epic Games launcher pretty soon here. That's pretty, pretty amazing. So we're going to see a huge spike in users and traffic on the, the actual platform. So you're going to be able to play with a lot more people pretty soon. And then right here, you can see these are the games that I've liked. So you can go to liked games. So if you're just kind of looking at your favorite games, this, be, this would almost be like your, your considered your favorites, right? So liked games would be games that you want to go back to often. So let's go back here and go to my collection. So my collection is pretty much your avatar editor here. So you can customize your avatar. It's not super advanced yet. I'm actually hoping we can get a lot more advanced editing, you know, options here, but you can click edit here. Then you can see I've got like the different like options here. I can, I can change out my head. I could change out my upper body. I could change out my lower body. And then I can change out my backpack, which would be this right here. You see, I've, I've got the little teddy bear. So that's pretty much what we're looking at here. So for your head, you know, there's different unlocks and stuff. Oh, that's cool. I got the Anubis. Neat. You can get a cowboy and there's all these. And if you want to be able to have more options, you can do so under the shop right here. So you go over to shop. So you can pretty much see here, there's like all these different options here. And this is currently the dynasty catalog here. And these are all the different like these. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a little cloud you can fly on. So these are mounts. And so I'll, I'll show you some mounts in a little bit. And then these are like different um, avatars. You can be this guy and you know, credits. I'll, I'll get into credits in a moment, but I'm just going to show you some of these real quick. You can be the, on this little tank here. It's pretty cool. So if you like out, you know, if you like Overwatch, that's probably going to be a big, you know, favorite there. And then you got like this crazy looking guy with wings. That's cool. I like that. That's really neat looking. And then you got the military catalog. Pretty cool. Winter catalog, you know, so there's different mounts. Like I said, there's also bundles here. So there's, here's the ancient warriors one. I actually have these. It's pretty cool. But they also have like these bundles you can get. So, you know, you got the different like founders packs and stuff that you can buy. Like I said, like even these are bundles right here, the Spartan bundle. That's cool. I actually have that, that horse. That's neat. And then the ancient warriors, that's a bundle. And then you can also buy new emotes and stuff. So I'm going to show you some more of these in a moment, but I want to explain these credits, the core credits here. So on the top right here, you can actually buy core credits. And that is actually the currency that the platform uses to be able to buy stuff. Not only, you know, for your avatar, but a lot of games will actually use core credits for being able to buy, you know, items inside the game. So very much like V-Bucks, if you're familiar with like Fortnite or Robux, if you're familiar with Roblox, you pretty much have these credits that you can spend. So, and you can see here, it's actually like one to a penny, right? So this is pretty much the equivalent of $100. Of course, you're going to get bonus credits once you get, you know, you start spending a lot more. You know, this one's the best one to get if you're going to spend a hundred bucks, even better. And so some of these actually, you know, you can see this is like a basically frozen right here would be like four bucks, right? Or actually $5 if you only bought the $5 worth of uh, credits. And then this one would be like 12 bucks. So you can, you know, get an idea of what things are worth. And so let me show you some of the items that I have here. So you can see I have a bunch of mounts. This is my um, reindeer mount. This is a really cool mount. And then it looks like I just got this um, really cool Spartan horse. So I'm going to go and equip that. This thing is, looks crazy cool. Look at that. It's got a shield. It's got a, like a sword. The detail in these mounts and, and these um, customizations are really crazy. You see this guy. I've got this like little dragon looking guy. And then uh, I've got this. I got, I like my little tank. My little tank's cool. So you can see my little tank. I wish it shot stuff. That would be cool. I had little projectiles. So we got this one as well. It's much like the black one here. And then I've got a snowboard here or hoverboard. And then I've got uh, just a regular horse here. You've seen the uh, Rudolph and you already saw the Spartan one. 
And so over here though, I'm gonna show you some more of these customizations. So I've got all these characters, right? So you get, you know, again, you can you can also change different colors about these. So I like this guy, this guy's pretty cool. You could be, you know, her, you could be a cowboy and there's different levels. So there's different levels of rarity. So you can see here, the gold is gonna be the most rare. Purple is gonna still be pretty rare. And then it goes down all the way to common. So these are gonna be all the common ones. And then it's like maybe uncommon. And then this one's probably like rare and exotic or something. I'm not really sure what the rarity levels are. I don't think it tells you the different names names of rarities but you can see that's basically the different like these are obviously going to be the best these gold ones are pretty much you can do different skin colors here so you can see my skin behind my mask is actually changing let me let me show you this one so you can see there's different and it depends on the actual like customization you have they're not all the same so if you go and do the nutcracker guy or the tin soldier you can see you, you only have those options for um, whatever the head comes with so this guy for example i can go red you know so there's just different options we can do here you know red skeleton that's pretty cool red school black school it's neat. So pretty much you can change those colors out, like I said, and then um, your bodies here, you can also change out. So we can go and, you know, switch these out and you can change like the different colors of your, your skin under it. So if I had this one right here or this one, you know, you could change the hand colors and stuff. Pretty cool. There's that one. That's what that looks like. Kind of like a mummy kind of style. And then your legs here, you can also change out. So skin color is pretty much going to be unified from your upper and uh, lower. So these are pretty much tied together. So you can't really like change, you know, your skin color for your feet. So your feet aren't going to be able to be changed. Um, you can actually change also the customization of the actual um, item. So you see this little palette down here. So let's go back up here and show you a little bit of that. So you see the, the upper body here, we can change the colors, we can make it black, we can make it all kinds of cool stuff. It's kind of hidden down there. Same for this one. So you can see like, I can actually change this to be like a red if I wanted to, or like really dark. So I could do it like that, it's kind of cool. So then you could also select your secondary color. So if you want to change the eyes, maybe you want the eyes to be white. So there's a lot of capabilities here with your customization. So I've got like red eyes now. So that's a lot like my main character on uh, Roblox is I've got red eyes. So you can do something like that and um, have the red there, have the black um, you know head part and then you know same same thing over here you can see you can also change the different colors here on the top for the visor so if i wanted to be like red up here or black on the chin i could and i can also change the you know the actual face plate if i wanted to so i can change it to black or i can make it red so it's pretty cool there's super flexible on you know customizations there and then um for your backpack similar you know you can change the color of your teddy bear so if you want a red teddy bear you can do so you know or you can just default it back to whatever the, the color is just by clicking revert and now your character is reverted to the way it was. So that's pretty cool. From here, you can go over to shop. So, and then there's emotes. So these are pretty cool. So you can see, you know, I've got like different emotes. This is, this is like a gift one. Here's, you know, some other ones. Um, and of course the, you know, purple is gonna be the most rare. You do like little dance moves and these are all accessible in game. And then of course, if you wanna make your own games, you can do so under the create section. I'm not gonna get into the creation aspects of this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and skip that. And then all the way to the right here though, you can see we got the little drop down here for your profile. So you can, you know, look at your profile, you can go to settings and you can log out or exit. Exit's obviously just going to close the app, but it's still going to be running in the background down here. So if you want to actually be able to launch it again, you can just right click on this and launch and it's going to bring this up. So it doesn't actually close it out. Now go into your profile here. You can see I've got, you know, some, a couple of things here that explain me. So you can actually change your avatar here and these will unlock from quests. I'm going to show you the quests in a moment, but these can actually like unlock um, the more you level up and stuff. So we're going to get into that in a moment and then you can obviously edit your you know descriptions here you can you know add different links and uh, put a little bit more information about you and then these are obviously all the things you've played so coming over here to the right right under your profile you're going to notice the, my level here is 22 and then my le next level up is at a thousand xp so i need another thousand xp to level up and so if you click on quests here and it looks like quests aren't loading up right now but typically you're going to find a bunch of quests over here because right now the quests are actually having some issues but over here you can see typically this will be a level i'm actually level 22 right now and if you were to click on quest what it's going to ask you to do is do things like go play a game for like 30 seconds, go join a friend and things like that. So that's all that's gonna be. And, and then as you level up, you actually unlock more collection items, which is pretty cool. So you can get, you know, different unlocks for your characters. So you get different skins and stuff. So it's a great way to actually like unlock like wearables and stuff for free. So, and then obviously down here, you know, these are game invites. You can add your friends here. So you can look for friends. You can type in their username and find them and add them that way. There is a limit of, I think it was like 220 or 240 friends or something like that. It's kind of a weird number 
number, but it's it's a, it's a little over 200 friends. And so you're gonna hit some limits at some point, unfortunately. I'm hoping that'll increase that because it's kind of a bummer. And then you can obviously join your friends. So I have, I've got a couple friends online right now. So if I wanted to be able to you know, join them, I could. And then down here, you can see it says unread messages. You can click on that. And that little circle here means I have an unread message. So we can click on that. It says, I am so happy to be your friend. Please can we play some games together? So someone actually sent me that while I was offline. And then you can see I've got some more messages here. And if you want to be able to message them anytime, you can just right click on them and you can send them a message. So you can just click on that and then you can write a message to them no matter if they're online or not. And the other thing that's kind of cool is you can see how long ago people, you know, your friends have been online. So this person was online three weeks ago. A lot of these people haven't been on in a long time. This person was on 15 minutes ago, you know, so you can get an idea of like how active your friends are. So that way you can kind of remove some if they haven't been around for a while. And so you can just pretty much, you know, remove anyone that hasn't been around for a while so that you can make space for others. And then obviously if you want to join a friend, just click on that and it'll automatically bring you into their game. The other thing that I love is it doesn't take you long to actually get in a game. You don't have to install the game. It's pretty much as long as you have the platform, it's good to go. So you can see, I just, I just joined them on this game. Pretty awesome, awesome platform. I love it. And the other great thing about this is if you hit escape and you're just looking for another game to play, you can just go hit escape and then just kind of find another game you want to play. So like this one's master parkour world. This one's an ore tycoon. Um, we'll go ahead and go to this one and you just jump straight into a different game. So you don't even have to like exit out of that game. You can just hit escape and go to a different game right away. So again, there's thousands of games you can play on this you know, platform here. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. I'm always down for helping people get onto the platform. So if you have any questions or if you run into any issues, let me know. I'll try my best to answer any questions in the comments. And of course, I have a link to download Core in the description as well. So if you wanna check out Core, definitely go and click on that link and it'll take you straight over to the Core platform. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all next time.